I think uh, the question is largely based on M-Tech computer science. I think that's the starting point uh, because the future options depend on what branch you study M-Tech in. See, first we must understand you are doing an M-Tech. M-Tech is different from MS. Uh, MS is slightly, uh, M -tech, my understanding of M-Tech is largely more on the application side, whereas an MS is more on the science side, which means the why's and what's. In a technology or a, when you say it is application side, we want to know how things work. And when you say science basis, you want to know why things work that way. What is the why's of that uh, uh, activity? So if you do M-Tech computer science, then I am assuming that you should become a consultant on application of computer science in various end users. So one of the most common, there are two broad areas of computer application. One from the customer end, for example, you are working for a FMCG company, it has an IT department, which has got a CTO, there might be a CIO. So you could work in the area of CTO, CIO, which means in the client end or in the, uh, in the function of IT in a uh, corporate. The other end is to work in a consulting company which provides the services to these corporates, which means it could be a services company, it could be a product company, uh, you could be a AI ML based company. So I would suspect if you're saying M-Tech computer science, may, traditionally everybody wants to focus on how to build a career in the uh, customer uh, or, or the, the consulting end because consulting end, a lot of people, a lot of jobs are there. But I would recommend mostly in the area of uh, try and find a job in the product side. Product means Google, Facebook, these are product companies. So look for jobs in product companies. And the second part is to look for something in the futuristic technology domain, which is again, all of us know that today AI, ML, uh, we are talking about analytics, and we are talking about uh, device, how data management, data science is being managed. So there are several futuristic technologies including um, things, uh, very important area like computer security or information security. So you need to pick one or two futuristic technologies. You should pick, I would say come tech, I'll pick in the customer end of the business, like for example, a bank or an insurance company, they're highly regulated. So the information security and, and information management, data management become very large for them. So you could build a career, assuming you're an M-Tech in computer science, I would build a career in customer end in the area of uh, uh, data management and try and work in a large corporation which uses a lot of data, which is basically a banking or a financial services company, so the largest user. The second area, of course, in the application area is also manufacturing 4.0. In manufacturing 4.0, what we mean is that now we are developing simulation technology to simulate the entire plant and you can use tools to create the entire, as if the plant is working, and then you can do the supply chain, you can see how the materials are moving, you can measure a lot of things. So that's another very interesting area for an M-Tech guy to focus on. How do we do manufacturing technologies or manufacturing 4.0 technologies? What, how can I become a specialist in that area? Uh, 